Hi, in today's video I'll show you some basic color page stuff that you can do in free version of the DaVinci Resolve. But first, if you search for more content like this, smash subscribe and let's start. So we have our clip in the timeline, go to the color page, you should see only one node. If you don't see nodes, click this button. Select the node and tap Alt S to create another node. Let's make some room so I will close clips and gallery. So with second node selected, choose the qualifier tool. Pick the color, switch to picker add and pick the color in different areas. You can change the view to highlight so you see exactly what was selected by the qualifier. But the qualifier will apply color selection to the whole image, not only the object you want. To get rid of it, go to Window and draw a mask. Remember to track the mask, so go to the tracker and click track forward and reverse. Now change the color. Let's use color warper. Ok, let's disable highlight view. In qualifier tab you can fine tune your selection. Ok, it looks good except the lamp that changed color too. Uh, to fix it, select the first node, go to window and draw a mask around it. To zoom in the view, just use your mouse wheel, to scroll down, hold Ctrl key and use mouse wheel, to pan left and right, hold Ctrl and Shift plus mouse wheel. Ok, so uh, draw a mask, adjust the softness. In order to the mask takes uh, effect on second node, connect alpha output, blue square and triangle. And as you see, we need to invert the mask. Ok, our target color is done. Now we will create a transition effect. So add another node, select second node and tap Alt and S. Connect alpha output, open effects, search for edge detection and apply it to the last node. Finally, connect the alpha output. You might not see the alpha output by default, so right mouse click and add alpha output. Go back to edit page and make two copies of the clip. Go back to color, open clips and as you can see we have three copies of our clip. Select the first one and delete two last nodes. So basically we have our, our original clip. Go to the second one and delete only the last node, which is our transition effect. Oops, we forgot to track the mask with the lamp. Let's do it now. We need to do it for all three clips. So yeah, remember always track the, the mask uh, if the object is moving. Now go back to the edit page and make sure they are in correct order. So the original clip is at the bottom. In the middle we have our target clip and above the clip with the transition effect. Ok, let's trim the middle one and drag it down so it will override the clip below. Let's move the transition clip lower and trim it both sides and disable this track for now. Apply video transition, so go to the effects, video transitions and search for cross dissolve transition. Adjust its length so it matches the track above. With the track above selected, go to the inspector and change composite mode to add. Add fade in and out, bring the playhead to the beginning and create keyframes for crop left and right. Go to the end and adjust the crop left and right to your preference and that's it. In the next section we're gonna turn up the lights in color page. So grab a quick coffee, click the subscribe if you haven't already and let's get back to work. So again, we have our clip in a timeline, go to the color page, select the node, Alt S and then create two parallel nodes, so Alt and P. Select first parallel node, draw a mask and track it. It's not correctly tracked at the beginning, but we can leave it as it is. Now in the color wheels tab, increase gamma, gain and offset and soften the mask a bit. In the second parallel node, do the same for another LED light. I will fast forward it for you. And the third, let's choose a circle mask. The changes apply to the wheel and we want a circle. So proceed the same way as in the previous example with the lamp. It looks good. Let me correct a bit the softness. 
Finally, create another serial node. So select a merge node and tap Alt S, open effect and search for the light rays. Drag it into the node. Create a circle mask and place it above the lamp so that light rays are visible near the LED lights. Play with the settings to get the best result. I increase source threshold and change the position. Go back to the edit page, make a copy of the clip and place it above. Return to the color page and disable or delete the nodes for one of the clips. Again back to the edit page, place above the one with lights on, trim it and that's it. As far as headlamps are concerned, the concept is pretty much the same. In the color page, create additional two parallel nodes, draw a mask for the first one, increase the softness, track it. In color wheel tab, increase offset and white color in gain width. Select the second parallel node and proceed the same with the second lamp. And finally, add light rays effect. Thanks for watching. Don't miss out upcoming tutorials, so make sure to subscribe, comment, and like. See you in the next one.